so this is just one of our electric uh, airsoft training training uh, tools that we use. Uh, it shoots a six millimeter BB at about 400 FPS. So inside of a house, like you don't want to get shot with this thing. Uh, it's a little bit different than simunitions and UTMs. Uh, I personally like using airsoft a little bit more than UTMs because they are more reliable. Whereas UTMs, like they do get junk, uh, gummed up and you know get caught in the chamber and all that stuff periodically. So, and I, I like the electric guns more than the gas guns that we have because when you run out of gas, things don't run the way they're supposed to. The only thing is that the feedback of the recoil management is just not there, which is fine. There's more training value in, in understanding the footwork and the reps, okay, and the PID and stuff like that. So, all right, you know, we have a full magazine and we got good a full to go. Bag and then I'm going to go switch up targets real quick. Okay. about that run much better yeah yeah i don't know if the technique was better but my uh target acquisition okay. was better you yeah. know you told me to focus on uh the black targets only engage the black targets so identifying what i was seeing and when i saw red not taking that shot and then also keeping count of my rounds so i know that i was putting in two rounds on each of the targets that i engaged okay you know where those rounds made contact uh uh center mass okay yes Okay. Um, if you could get to a point where you know where that round entered the body and you can describe that, I think it would really help okay. in the court case. Yeah. Be whether it's a justified or unjustified shoot, um, you're going to be explaining yourself in court. And the more you can articulate, the more details you can give, the better. Because it's going to show, hey, like, I understand what I was doing. I'm trained and I did it to the best of my abilities, right? Um, there was a couple of times when I saw you just throttle it back down, so it was pretty good, uh, and not engaging that target, especially when I was in the kitchen. You almost engaged that one, huh? Yeah. But then you 
you're yeah. able to dial, yeah. the, dial it back. Yeah. Um, keep in mind, you know, your focus was more on the PID side of it now, which which means that your fundamentals kind of started to dwindle. I can tell. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. Right, this is just more get get more reps, get more training. Right. Get the reps in. Um, Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. I mean, we didn't do any force on force today. Right. Um, at, at the end of the day, I don't think you're quite ready for force on force yep. just yet. Which I agree with 100%. Because this is one of those situations where we gotta we gotta lay down that foundation. Yeah. We gotta build that mindset. Yeah. And you know, build it up to to that point. Um, but there's gonna be a lot of value when it comes down to the uh, force on force side that is gonna expose a lot more than what we just covered on paper. It's so difficult to even like comprehend how much information just in today we went over and you can tell like over a you know long enough period of time you start to lose it so it's like if you're focusing on the PID you lose the fundamentals if you're focusing on the fundamentals you lose the PID so you know this is something that has to be a part of your regimen just like going to the range you have to get you know these fundamentals and things like this in so this was this was very eye-opening very my opening yeah and, and that's the thing too is is um a lot of training companies, you'll pay upwards of like seven to nine hundred dollars. Yeah, plus travel, absolutely. Plus rounds yep. For a class like this, and they're just gonna fire hose you yeah. with information for those two days. Yeah. At the end of the day, when you fire hose, when you get fire hosed, your retention rate on learning the subject just is not gonna be there. Yeah. Right. This is why we take it slow. We build a good foundation and we build the fundamentals one little step at a time. Yeah. You know, if we spent a full six hour day to eight hour day on footwork and pieing, and that's all you got out of it, at least you'll have six to eight hours of just learning how to pie yeah. rather than an hour of that. And then the rest of the day, just other things, you know? Yeah. Um, so, you know, to, to really build yourself into an asset, it's going to take more than one time. It's going to take more than one repetition. It's going to take hours upon hours of just learning the basics of the basics and then building up on top of each other until you completely understand everything yeah. that goes on. Absolutely. So this is why we always say take 10 intro to CKB classes because you're not going to learn everything all in one and you're probably not going to learn it all in 10 either. Yeah. Right. It's got to be a continuous thing. This was very eye opening. I, I, I can't thank you enough, man. This was great. This was great. Yeah. So this shows a lot of the necessity of not just training. I think that if if I could say this and say and speak for you, one of the points that you've tried to get across in our interaction today is the idea of training, specifically like in the 2A community and that that tactical gun community. You know, I myself, I've paid for probably $10,000 worth of training in the past 2 years. Going to a class, taking a class from a celebrity instructor, that is a form of training. But there's hearing something, there's understanding something, there's comprehension of something, and then there's the ability to put that into actual appropriate action. And then on the other side of that, being able to articulate why you put that into action or why you did not. So there's a, a huge range and spectrum uh, when it comes to training that far exceeds just paying your money, taking a class, getting a, a selfie with a celebrity instructor, and then coming home and thinking that you're ready to, to engage a situation like this. So I got to be honest with you, man. I've, I've trained with some really famous people mm -hmm. and I've had some great experiences. This was very, very eye opening. And I really appreciate it, man. This was great. Right. We'll definitely be doing this again. Thank you for your support, man. Absolutely. Task Collective.